Hello my beautiful dolls, welcome back to the channel and to another speed build. Today I am building a barn that is also a wedding reception and this build I made specifically to fit very well in the world of Brindleton Bay, the new world that came with the Cats and Dogs expansion pack and of course you can place it in any world you want but I went for a style that would go just very well in this town but guys before I talk more about this build I just want to take a moment to really thank you guys okay and I'm okay I'm gonna try to not get super emotional and start crying but yesterday we hit 20,000 subscribers on the channel 20,000 dolls guys for me it's still like unbelievable it's insane it's crazy i started this year with less than 1k subs guys and never in my wildest dreams did i think that i would reach 20k before this year was over i never imagined something like this would happen and i can't even describe how i'm feeling right now but guys seriously I am so incredibly happy and I feel very lucky to have such amazing support from so many of you. Oh my god, I'm good. don't cry. <laughs> don't cry. Um, But yeah, and I feel like I can't even thank you guys enough. But okay, <laughs> from the deep bottom of my heart, guys, seriously, thank you so much. So freaking much. You guys and your support, it means the world to me. Just know that and know that i love you guys i love you so much okay and yeah thank you again and if you have any suggestions on a 20k sub special video let me know because i don't know what to do <laughs> i have no ideas left for a special i have no clue means i can't do face reveal yet uh, because i don't own a webcam and i kind of need uh, to film a face reveal so yeah i can't afford to get a webcam at the moment so Unfortunately, I can't do that as a 20k sub special, but I will do a face reveal eventually, hopefully soon. But if you have any other ideas for a 20k special, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, back to the build, guys. I, I've had this build in mind for a while. Uh, I want to make some community lots specifically for Brindleton Bay. Now again, you would, of course, be able to place these in any world you like, but they will be built in a style that fits just very well in specifically Brindleton Bay. So starting off with a barn, I thought it was such a cute idea, guys, for a wedding reception to kind of like remake a barn into a wedding venue and i actually got this idea from another youtuber i'm watching a fashion vlogger lifestyle youtuber uh, she recently got engaged so i'm so happy for her and she's getting married next year and um she she lives on this like she lives on the countryside on this old like farm and they've decided to renovate 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 one of their barns and host their reception in there guys i thought that was such an amazing cool idea so uh that kind of inspired me to make this build she vlogs the whole renovation and it's just so much fun to watch she is definitely one of my favorite youtubers and and she is very much into this rustic, old, like mismatchy look and antiques. So that's also something I've included in this build. It's very rustic, as you can see, like the wallpaper. It looks very old, like the color has faded uh, because of the sun. And it hasn't been like re touched up or repainted or anything at all and i put a lot of columns in uh, all over the place because usually old barns have those to hold the structure up i suppose uh, i think i'm not sure but i think the columns are there to hold the build up and i put a railing in to act as like beams um wooden beams i thought that was cool and i thought it would be super cute to hang lights from those as well so you'll see me do that in a second <laughs> as well and um what else i'm also mismatching like 
all the chairs. I'm mismatching a whole bunch of stuff in this build. We'll see that in a second too once I get to the interior. But I did mismatch a lot of things and I thought it was just such a cool look. And I also tried to use items that look quite antique um, or old. Antique, old looking stuff. Uh, anyway, so these... um hanging light thingies i've used those quite a lot like just in the front i use them i use them at the back and i use them inside the build so I'm, i might have already used them a little bit but i think they gave it such an such a cozy feel and I, I wanted some hanging lights guys i also use a bunch of lights you will see that in a second i haven't even come to um, I haven't even started the interior yet, so <laughs> now we are. Okay, now I can talk about the interior. Yay, finally! This is my favorite part, okay? So as you can see, I'm using a lot of these. I'm putting them up basically all over the place. <laughs> but it looks like they're hanging from the beams, and it's just so cozy, guys. I saw, like, I googled a bunch of um, pictures of wedding um, venues, like barn wedding venues and they all had these like hanging lights from the ceiling and from the beams and it was so beautiful so I took inspiration from that and I'm also hanging lights up there that's also something I these kind of bowl kind of looking lights I <laughs> yeah anyway I saw a bunch of those too in the pictures so I took, definitely took inspiration from Google for this build and as you can see I mismatched all the chairs and I'm using all these kind of like old chairs um but I can imagine that they didn't have enough chairs so they also bought these newer white ones um the, the ones with the fabric <laughs> uh, I can imagine they bought those specifically for the wedding but they also had a bunch of old chairs or maybe the chairs were were found in the barn I have no clue but <laughs> uh, there was a lot of mismatching going on and I put um curtains up around the place too I don't, I don't know that that feels wedding to me like white curtains hanging from the walls it's just so beautiful i don't know i also saw that in pictures on google <laughs> so yeah if you if you ever build something in your stock just google or look at pinterest or tumblr anywhere um because that's what i do when i need inspiration but this this um build is mostly in inspired by that other youtuber in her real life barn although her barn looks nothing like this barn but anyway she inspired this build but I also took some inspiration from pictures of Google or from Google or um on Google guys <laughs> this is one this is another one of those late night voiceover recordings just so you guys know I am super tired it's in the middle of the night and I always record my speed builds in the middle of the night so if I sound tired that's why <laughs> but i really want to get this video um ready for tomorrow because i don't have time to record the voiceover tomorrow morning and this is supposed to go up by then so i have to record it now or it's not gonna go up in the morning so yeah that's why i'm recording it in the middle of the night and i, I just finished this build so it, it took me quite long i was gonna upload the build today which is yesterday for you guys but i i couldn't get it done in time so i thought hmm, okay i'm just gonna upload it tomorrow it's no big deal <laughs> uh, so yeah that's why there was no video yesterday even though i usually upload on saturdays um I was gonna stream too, but since I was working on this build, I couldn't stream. So that was a bummer. I should have prepared it better, but yeah, <laughs> I didn't. So yeah, and these crates, guys, I thought these crates were so cool to use in this. Uh, that's something this YouTuber also does. Like she, she has these old um, crates. Like I think they're sugar crates. They used to have sugar in them or transport sugar in them. Um, and she has a bunch of those that she's gonna plant flowers in and it's just such a cool idea guys such a cool idea so yeah I, I used some crates in this build too and that was also inspired by her <laughs> um, yeah and then I decided to put stuff on the walls because um, yeah they looked a little bit bland but I didn't know what to put on the walls guys so um, yeah 
they they're a bit awkward i put up these steering wheel thingies and uh, a bunch of mismatched um mirrors those are mirrors yeah <laughs> bunch of mismatched mirrors i don't know if that looks weird or not it might look a little bit weird but i didn't know what else to put there so i, I suppose that's that works and some butterflies i don't know where that idea came from <laughs> that's also a little bit awkward but then i put these uh, paintings up and they came with the cats and dogs expansion pack i'm just so happy that we can scale things down guys so many things are finally usable because we can now scale them down i'm, I'm so <laughs> freaking happy that they gave us the option to scale things down like so happy super super happy oh and i put rose petals uh, around the cup wedding um couple's table that that table that it was the, the long table the bigger table of all the tables in there <laughs> the re rectangular uh, table that's like the uh, groom and the bride's uh, table that they're supposed to sit at so yeah i put uh, rose petals underneath that and i'll I'll also put rose petals out here because why not instead of a carpet or something I thought it was cute to just use rose petals instead um, and out here is where the actual wedding takes place and again mismatched all the chairs it's just so cute with mismatched chairs but yeah that's we're almost done with this build guys i really hope you enjoyed it it's of course gonna be up on the gallery if you want to download it go on the gallery search for my username cyberdollyc or under the hashtags cyberdoll and cyberdollyc um so yeah if you enjoyed this build guys which i hope you did <laughs> please leave this video a big big thumbs up i really appreciate it you will find all the links to my social socials in the info box down below so go follow me on twitter and all of that stuff and thanks again for 20k subscribers guys i love you so freaking much and i'll see you in my next video While I'm slowly heading